Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. Today it's just a continuation of our uh, Christmas coverage, the Starlight Celebration. Uh, just going to see what's going on with these repeatable quests and what kind of items we can get from it. Is it strange that I got so attached to Rudy in such a short time? Either way, I only hope we can meet him again someday. Ah, but this is no time to get all sentimental. I have work to do. And remember, the Saint of Nemea wishes to have a word with you if you have the time to spare. He didn't mention exactly what he wants, but he was most insistent that you come along. Whatever do you think it could be? Um, okay. Not much of a clue there as to where I've got to go. Uh, oh, just directly in front of us, apparently. Right. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, thank you for joining me, my adventuring friend. As no doubt you know, I am the Saint of Nemea, bringer of gifts and joy to children all across the realm. Amgaranji has told me all about your exploits this starlight season, and I simply had to express my gratitude in person. Truth be told, I was observing you the whole time from a distance. Why, I almost wish that I could have joined you myself, but it is my policy to stay out of the spotlight, or the starlight as it were. Besides, you and your furry friends were having such a jolly time that I couldn't bring myself to intrude. Watching Rudy help make those delightful snowball treats and grow into a confident little helper was a wonder to behold. True starlight miracle. Which brings me to my request. I was hoping you might inspire me the same way you did young Rudy. For you see, as much as it pains me to admit this, I find myself at a loss for new gift ideas this year. And so if you could spare the time, I was hoping we might spend a little time together. Just the two of us. Let's see you, friend. Um, What are you getting at? I just want a taste of that inspiration of yours. Yes, I'm sure some quality time with you is precisely what I need to rekindle my creative spirit. Oh ho ho, no need to look so alarmed. I won't ask much of you. I simply would have you accompany me on a little stroll under the stars. After all, the decorations are most lovely, so why don't we take in the festive atmosphere together? We can amble all around Old Gradania and make our way to Norfolk as Altar. There are a few spots in particular I'd like to take in with you along the way. Just one would be plenty if you've other places to be. Though if you can spare the time, I would love to see free. And with that, let us be off. Ho ho ho. Ready? Then let us enjoy a most inspiring stroll. Uh, Saint of Nimia is now accompanying you. Lead him to the designated locations and speak with him there. Okay. You may choose from among six of the Saints desired destinations. Apkalu Falls, the Lancers Guild, the Levers Wo Lever Workers Guild, the Marketplace, the Water Mill and the Great Loam Brewery. Okay. Furthermore, you must stay close to your companion in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave the Saint behind by entering a different area, putting too much distance between you or by speaking with him and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have the Saint join you again, return and speak with him at the original location. Right. So does he follow automatically? Yes. Now, let's see. Does it actually tell me the locations? Yes, it does. So we'll go to the uh, marketplace first, I suppose. Or maybe the level workers guild that's actually first. Right. Just over here somewhere. I guess we need to be inside. There it is. Oh, what a remarkable collection of most masterfully crafted level work. I would expect nothing less from the home of the Fen Yi brand. These would make marvellous gifts indeed, though perhaps not for children. <laughs> One as cultured as you, however, I do believe this bag would be perfect. It complements your powerful silhouette most remarkably. What do you say? Might you have something in mind for me? Ah, but there are few greater pleasures in life than exchanging presents with friends and loved ones. Just imagining the delight in their eyes upon receiving the item you so carefully chose for them. This stroll truly has been most eye-opening. Doing this every year, one tends to fall into a bit of a routine. Slowly but surely, you are helping me remember the true joys of the season. Why, I dare say I am feeling as excited and motivated as I did during the inaugural Starlight Celebration. 
<laughs> it would appear that the saint of Nimia has found some small measure of inspiration. You may make for Nofika's altar if you are ready to end your stroll or accompany him to other locations that might inspire him further. Okay. Well, we'll try and get as many locations as we can. While you are accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way which offer additional topics of discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with your guest companions to, to access these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploring your surroundings together. Okay. Uh, so we've done the Leather Workers Guild. Does not like there's any more in here. And there's no more in here, it seems like. So we'll head on towards the marketplace and have a quick check back that direction. Uh, marketplace it is. Get a little bit of a sprint going on. Hopefully you can uh, keep up with us. <laughs> Not over there. Um, oh, here it is. Speak about the marketplace. Ah, but of course, if the perfect gift could be found, where else could one find it but a marketplace chock full of the finest wares? By all means, let us have a look around. Out of curiosity, what manner of purchase is it that usually inspires you to come to these markets? Arms and armour, perhaps? Or foodstuffs? Something more ornamental? Do tell me if anything has caught your eye. Um, <laughs> it used to be belts. <laughs> belts? Ah yes, those fabled objects that were said to have once held up many an adventurous pantaloons, and yet it is strange. When I try to recall what they look like, I see them only in silhouette as if they stood betwixt me and the blinding glare. <laughs> Well, there are certainly plenty of wonderful items from which to draw inspiration. As always, your perspective has proved most enlightening, my friend. It seems the Saint of Nimir is sufficiently inspired. Accompany him to the Conjurer's Guild unless you wish to spend more time with him. Right, uh, can I see the... Uh, speak with the Saint. What does this option do? What a lovely season for a stroll. I'm sure you agree, yes? There's no better way to stimulate the senses, particularly when I'm joined by an inspiring presence like you, my friend. Ho ho ho. Uh, okie dokie, so that doesn't do much. Let's see where these other locations are. One up by the Lancers Guild. So we'll head there and we'll come around in an anti-clockwise direction, I think. A little bit of a sprint going on. Just stay in here. And there it is. Oh, so these are the barracks of the Wood Whalers. It's most inspiring to see everyone hard at work. Mayhap they would also be inspired to feast their eyes on my own muscles. Though they may be difficult to see through all these clothes. Behold. Ho ho ho. Ho 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 Impressive, are they not? You are free to feel them for yourself if the sight alone does not suffice. <laughs> Come now, my friend, there's no need to be shy. Ah, but nothing stimulates the mind more than moving one's body. I dare say I'm feeling more inspired by the moment. Uh, right. Next destination. Uh, where's the way out? Here it is. And what do we have next on our list? Uh, oh, it's removed the other locations. Um, so we're we not allowed to see the other locations at all? Or is it just that they're unmarked now? Could make life rather difficult for finding them, but uh, we'll try our best. Not seeing any in this area. 
Now I'm almost certain I saw one at Upkalu Falls earlier. I'll have a quick detour up here. Uh, nope, doesn't seem like there's any up this area. Is there any uh, at Apkalu? Uh, nope, there doesn't appear to be anything here. Uh, looks like they might have removed all the ones that uh, we chose not to view. Seeing as we've got all three of them. Well, all three of the uh, required ones, anyways. Hmm, oh, that's disappointing. Right, so I guess we'll head down to uh, Nofika's altar then. Get a little bit of a sprint going on for this last little uh, stretch. Oh, as all good things do, it would seem our little journey together has come to an end, and I can just feel the fire of inspiration coursing through me. Many thanks for the kindling, my friend. Now all that remains is to bring my ideas to life in the form of gifts for the children. Yes, I must be off to my workshop. That said, I very much enjoyed our little starlight stroll together. I do hope you feel the same. Um, must we part so soon? Oh, well, if you insist, perhaps I could linger just a bit longer. Say, so, did you know that skilled hearers can attune their ears to the voices of the elementals? That's what I've heard from asking around, at least. Got me to thinking, do you suppose on certain special occasions we could hear them as well? I dare say if there's any time that we might, it would be during the starlight season. Shall we try it then? Close your eyes and open your ears. Come now, it'll be fun. Close your eyes and listen closely to the sounds of nature around you. Slowly but surely, the bustling noises of the city fade and you can feel your mind clearing. Ah! 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 Choo! Um, okay. <laughs> hmm. Did you hear anything? If there's anyone the elementals would speak to, undoubtedly it is you. Yes, it's only a matter of time now. I'm certain of it. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Um. Yes, just like that. Don't move, and no peeking. A warm hand caresses your cheek. Oh god. <laughs> Will you open your eyes? Um. No. <laughs> you keep your eyes tightly shut and focus on the voices of the elementals. Vation. Waste not, great, vein, groundwork. You hear mumbling whispers, but cannot discern precisely what is being said. Will you open your eyes? Um, no. Anyhow, it would appear laymen like us cannot hear the elementals after all. Still, our moment of quiet meditation has brought me a vision. Yes, I know exactly how I will get started on this year's presents. At any rate, Joining you for a brisk stroll through the snow-veiled forest has truly invigorated me. Yes, my head is finally clear enough for me to start work on gifts for the children. Ho ho ho! Don't tell me you're curious about what I'll be making for them, yes? Walking about town with you, I was struck by the calmness. I felt looking at the streetscapes veiled in white and the warmth that welled up in my heart in seeing the smiling faces of the townspeople. That's when it hit me. I could craft snow globes. Yes, little spheres of glass housing scenes depicting the starlight season here in Gridania. The children would enjoy that, don't you think? And with that, I'd best be off. Do send Amgaranji my regards. Ho ho ho.
Look, the sand is here. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, happy starlight to one and all. I hope you boys and girls are ready for some delightful presents this year. That adventurer over there helped inspire me with the idea, and I dare say they're among my greatest creations ever. Alright, uh, speak with Amgaranji, that's back at uh, Miketo's Amphitheater. So uh, let's just use the teleporter. Um, where is it? There it is. Uh, oh, can't find a spot to click her. There we go. The saint was beaming from ear to ear on his way out. You must have had quite the time together. But where's my head? He left this as a special starlight gift just for you. Well, I do hope you enjoy the festivities, and if you're so inclined, do check back in with the saint before the season's over. I'm sure he'd be overjoyed to see you again. Okay, complete that, and have a look. Uh, Magic to Prism Sunshine. This peculiar contraption creates illusions by weaving together myriad shades of light. It produces a radiant light that envelops the user. Uh... So just uh, makes me all sparkly. <laughs> and only for a very brief time as well, apparently. Oh well. Let's, uh, whoops, speak with her again. Um, Saint wishes to speak with you again. You will humour him, won't you? Uh, I will indeed. Because I want to try and uh, get all those locations visited if we can. So soon. I had a feeling you couldn't bear to be away from the jolly old saint of Nemea for too long. Ho ho ho. Ready then? Let us enjoy ourselves a most inspiring stroll. Yep, we know all this little bit. Um, so we went to the level workers, the market and the lancers. So this time we'll go to Apkalu, the Whistling Miller and Great Lone Growery. So it's this way for the easiest route to get to Apkalu. Is there any destinations in New Gridani, I wonder? It doesn't seem like it. Oh well. Let's uh, have a quick run through here. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. And just back here. Oh, such a lovely, tranquil place, yes. Just gazing out upon the dancing water gets my juices flowing. I am all but certain that inspiration will strike me any moment now. Yes, I can feel it coming. Almost there. <laughs> or perhaps not. I was certain I had something for a moment there, but it seems to have eluded me. No matter, my mind is now clear and ready to be filled with new ideas. I must say, spending time with you has been every bit as stimulating as I expected. Uh, has found some small measure of inspiration. May now got enough Gazalta. Yep. Right. We already know that, so uh, let's have a look. The next location was the Great Loam Grury, just over here. And then we... Oh wait, actually, we might be better off going to the Whistling Miller first. Let's get a sprint going on. And here we are. Oh, what a lovely spot indeed. Why, tuning my ears to the sound of the bubbling river and spinning water wheel feels as if it's purifying me to the depths of my soul. That said, it is a bit chilly here at the water's edge, is it not? 
Most fortunate I'm laid up nice and warm. Why, I dare say I was even feeling a bit hot. Yes, a bit of a cool air might have been just what I needed for inspiration. That said, I could make a gift of garb and garments to keep out the chill of winter. Yes, that would be a fine idea. Why did I not think of this sooner? <laughs> uh, right. So one last location over at the Great Loam Grewery. Get a little bit of a sprint going on once again. And we'll probably just teleport to North Gazette Altar once we're done in this area. We'll just uh, hop over the fence for a little bit of quickness. Oh, such a magnificent tree. Clearly it's been tended to with the greatest of care. Yes, you can simply feel the love that those who work here have for nature. A gentle tranquility permeates the very air around us. Yes, it's quite the departure from the bustling crowds that are the norm at most places I visit. Why, just the other day, the gold saw, uh, um... <laughs> the gold saws, as in a mine of sorts. Yes, I'm so inspired, I feel as if I have stripped gold. Ho ho ho! <laughs> but what treasures still await us? Onward we go! So that's uh, that done there, so we'll head up to the teleporter. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Got teleport on the brain. <laughs> And back to the Conjurer's Guild to uh, finish this up. Uh, wait, I did see. Oh, why am I? Put me the Saint of Nimia, Nofka's altar, and then speak with him. Ah, I must have accidentally uh, lost him with all the sprinting and teleporting and whatnot. Uh, Miketo's Amphitheatre. And let's pick him up once again. Right, now stay with me this time, buddy. <laughs> we'll uh, just run there this time, just to be certain that we don't accidentally lose him. <laughs> what on earth is he doing up there? Talk about a glitch. <laughs> Oh, as all good things do, it would seem our little journey together has come to an end. And I can just feel the fire of inspiration coursing through me. Many thanks for the kindling, my friend. Now all that remains is to bring my ideas to life in the form of gifts for the children. Yes, I must be off to my workshop. That said, I very much enjoyed our little starlight stroll together. I do hope you feel the same. Um, uh, it was exhausting. Oh, 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 my apologies if I got a bit carried away at times. As the Saint of Nimia, I vow to devote my life to helping others. I believe the two of us are rather alike in that sense. And your exploits this season have reminded me anew of just what the Starlight Spirit is all about. Anyone, be they a man or beast, can bring joy and wonder to the world if they so choose. It's a wonderful thing, is it not? And now I must channel all this vim and vigour as you've inspired me to craft my gifts for the children. So I fear it's time we parted ways. Ho ho ho, don't tell me you're curious about what I'll be making for them, yes? Walking about town with you, I was struck by the calmness I felt looking at the streetscapes veiled in white and the warmth that welled up in my heart. In seeing the smiling faces of the townspeople. That's when it hit me, I could craft snow globes. Yes, little spheres of glass housing scenes depicting the starlight season here in Gridania. The children would enjoy that, don't you think? And with that, I'd best get to work giving physical form to my ideas. Do send Amgaranji my regards. Ho ho ho! Right. 
Right, so uh, back to uh, Amgrangi at Miketo's Amphitheater. Uh, whoops. Still getting used to the new interface for the crystals. <laughs> So, uh, let's see, just back here again. Uh, Saint was beaming from ear to ear on his way out. You must have had quite the time together. But where's my head? He left this as a special starlight gift just for you. Well, I do hope you enjoy the festivities. And if you're so inclined, do check back in with the Saint before the season's over. I'm sure he'd be overjoyed to see you again. And get a few more of those. And one last thing we want to do before we close out the episode is there should be a vendor around here somewhere with some uh, Christmassy uh, things to purchase. Now I don't think it's going to be Stain or those two. And this looks hopeful. Starlight Celebration Cryer, maybe. A very merry starlight to you, friend. Do you have any questions about the festivities? I'd be more than happy to provide answers. What is the Starlight Celebration? The Starlight Celebration can be traced back to ancient Ishgard. Long ago, a terrible battle claimed countless lives, leaving thousands of children orphaned in the harsh cold weather of Korvas. Unable to bear their suffering, Ishgardian knights would offer these children board and lodging within their barracks. Of course, this was expressly forbidden, but the knights devised a plan to sneak them in, disguising the children in jackets of their scarlet uniforms. Owing to their generosity, the children survived the winter and lived to pay forward the kindness they had received. The former orphans would adorn themselves in scarlet uniforms, delivering gifts to children on the coldest week of the year. Thus, the Starlight Celebration was born. Over the years, the celebration has undergone gradual changes. The snowy-bearded captain of the kind-hearted knights has become known as the Saint of Nemea, and children believe that he delivers their hopes and prayers directly to the goddess herself. Similarly, his red jacketed knights have become the saint's little helpers. They are particularly beloved by the younglings, for it is their role to bring gifts to every child who sends a prayer to the spinner. Uh, what's your task in all of this? My scarlet clad colleagues and I have been charged by the Adventurers Guild with running the Starlight Celebration. The festival spans the entire realm of Eorzea, and we have little helpers stationed in the cities of Gridania, Limsolaminsa and Uldar. This year, Mother Mune and her staff at the Carleen Canopy have most kindly offered to assist us in preparing gifts to be delivered to the children at Bent Branch Meadows. I can scarcely wait to see what sort of delight she whips up for us. And of course, the celebrants are always looking for new present ideas. If you have any, by all means, do share them with my colleagues. Okay. And Starlight Celebrant. Uh, are you the person I'm looking for? Ah, here we go. Drops, a uh, myriad of items can be bought and sold from all, from vendors all across the Eosia. Persian nightmares are something that's clicking on an item. Uh, if you happen to have second thoughts about the sale, you can always buy it back. And why I'm getting that now? I'm sure I must have visited the shop before this point in time here. So we've gotten the sunshine. We haven't had any stardust. So we'll uh, pick up a few of those for ourselves. Uh, that'll do. And a Starlight Mobile. This decoration remains in perpetual motion even when no wind is present, possibly as the result of some as yet undiscovered Asian mass ma machination. Blech. Right, so uh, we'll purchase that. Uh, we don't actually have a house that we can use to uh, stick that up and see what it looks like, so unfortunately I won't be able to show you that. Now we've seen the Sunshine ones, now let's see the Stardust ones, see if there's much of a difference. Oh yeah, a bunch of uh, stars and confetti. Oh well. Uh, we'll call that an episode. Uh, I wish you guys all a happy holiday period this year. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>